So here we have the VATS floor mate hard floor cleaner. It more or less comes ready assembled. There's a little bit of assembly to do. In the box it's actually stored with the handle folded like that and you do have to attach the brushes and the front squeegee nozzle. But apart from that, that's all you really have to do to assemble it. As you can see, it does collapse. The handle does fold down if you need to store it in the cupboard under the stairs. You don't have so much height. You just flick this button here at the back, push the fold handle, so you push that down, and at the same time, fold the handle down. Like that. Also, on the top of the machine, you've got two controls. This is your on off button here, it's a nice sort of rubbery finish. And here is the lever that releases the cleaning solution onto the floor. As we work our way down, we've got a big chunky dial here. Now, the floor mate can be used for dry pickup as well, so before you wash your floors, you can actually dry vacuum them with the floor mate. So you just need to make sure that this setting is in dry vac mode. That will give you suction only, it slightly raises the squeegee head and it also turns off the spin scrub brushes. Now when you've got it in wash mode, you've got suction and you've got the spin scrub, scrub brushes rotating. And then for wet pickup, if you need to just pick up a dirty spill, or you want to give your floors an extra dry, switch to wet pickup. The squeegee remains in contact with the floor, but the brushes don't spin around. On the top, we've got the tank where you put the clean water and the cleaning solution. Just comes off like that. You have a little measuring cap built in and it goes from 30, half full is 30 millilitres up to 60 millilitres. I'll check the dosing instructions on the VAC solution. It's either half a cap or a full cap, I'm not sure. The tank takes 500 millilitres of water. And that just fits in. Underneath, this is a dirty water tank. So to empty it, you just remove this filter unit and then any dirty water you've picked up, you just tip back down the sink. Oops. Here you have a little float valve that raises up as the machine fills with water and it cuts off the suction when it's full. So you've no chance of getting water into the motor. There's also a washable filter on the top and this floor mate version has changed slightly to the one I've had. Obviously this piece must have, people must have lost it for some reason. So Vax have actually attached it now, so you can't lose that. So when you take the filter out, which you can rinse under clean water and dry, then you place it back. Then this has to be clipped back in place. That's it like so, and it just fits on top of the dirty water tank. And you just push that in until it clicks. I haven't actually got the uh, clean water tank in because it's hard to do single-handed. I'll just try and wedge myself behind it and just push it in. That's it. So it's a similar principle to a carpet washer. You have two tanks, clean and dirty, and they never mix. So when you're washing the floor, you're only putting down clean water. All the dirty water is being suctioned up and it goes into the dirty water tank. There's no way you're gonna get dirty water going back onto your floor like you would with a mop. So this is the base of the cleaner. You've got foot operated release to release the handle to operating position. And at the back, we've got the cable with a quick release hook. 
firm that down to release the whole cable and there's a lower hook there. It's a 700 watt motor which is more than adequate to provide the suction for drying the floor. And this is the main working area. You've got a squeegee at the front and underneath there are spin scrub brushes. This can all be cleaned to release the nozzle. You've got two little clips either side. Then this whole nozzle unit can be rinsed under water, give that a good clean. Also here we've got the spin scrub brushes, they can be rinsed as well. You've got two little catches there, you just press those. I'll just lay the machine down, make it a bit easier. Press the catch, one, two. And the whole spin scrub assembly comes out for cleaning because it will get dirty in time. And as you can see, when the machine's operating, the brushes rotate in a counterclockwise direction and they help to dislodge the dirt on your floor. They're not stiff, but they're not very soft. They're, you know, they're just right. So it's a compromise between cleaning and protecting the floor. If they were too stiff, you might find they're damaging your floor. So that's all there is. Underneath you've got two sets of rubber, rubberized wheels at the front and two larger rubber coated wheels at the back. So to assemble the spin scrub brushes in, you've got a little column piece there, little spindle, that needs to fit into that hole there. As long as that's lined up, then you just push until it's clicked in place, make sure that's it. And you'll see that the brushes do have some movement, they will move up and down. So if you have an uneven tiled floor, it helps to, uh, to clean in between the, the grouting. So that's the nozzle, we can put that back on. So that's a brief overview. So basically, to use the machine, we're going to fill the tank with warm water and cleaning solution put it into the operating position, release the solution onto the floor and at the same time the spin scrub brushes will be agitating the solution, releasing the dirt and then as you draw the machine back all the dirty water it is being sucked up through this squeegee nozzle up into here and into the dirty water tank. So without any further ado, let's see how this Vax floor mate performs. So first things first, I've got to fill the Vax floor mate with warm water and floor cleaning solution. So we'll just remove the upper tank. And like I say, I'm using the official Vax floor to floor hard floor cleaning solution. It's suitable for tiles, lino, sealed wooden hard floors. You can use it on laminate as long as you've got a sealed waterproof laminate. So if you've got a special laminate for your kitchen or bathroom that is designed for wet areas you can use the floor mate in those areas. Now the dilution rate for this is 60 mil per litre. So I happen to know that the Vax takes one litre of water so we just need to basically fill the measuring cap up to the top. Oops. Give the bottle a bit of a shake first. And then that goes in. Whoops a daisy. I really need to employ a cameraman. Let's just run the tap a moment so it's coming out warm. Might take a while. And then basically we're just going to fill this up. There's a fill line at the back there. That should be hot enough. Doesn't have to be boiling hot, obviously. Just 
just hand hot, just hot from the tap. And so don't put boiling water in because it won't do the plastics of the machine any good. So the lid goes back there. And we have the usual knocking of the pipes. Right, so now we've got the solution in and the hot water. I'd like to give it a bit of a mix around just to ensure that that's thoroughly mixed in. And then we're going to pop the tank back in. And because I haven't got a free hand, I'm just going to do it with my knee until it clicks in. That's all there is to it. Now we're ready to use the machine. So for best results, the slower you can go, uh, the better results you're going to get really. So we'll just hold the flex up out of the way, press on the foot release pedal. So I've thoroughly vacuumed the floor prior to using the floor mate. Like I say, you can use the floor mate as a dry vac, just ensure that you've got the dial on the dry vac setting. Because that's already been done, I want it on wash. So all I have to do now is switch the machine on, pass the machine slowly forward while squeezing the trigger to release the solution and then when I pull the machine back I'm going to release the trigger so I'm not putting any more solution onto the floor, I'm just actually removing the dirty solution. Here's a little tip for you, if you've got a particularly dirty floor that's never been cleaned with one of these machines, you might find it's not going to come clean first time, it'll need a few going, goings over. Um, but obviously if you've got new floors this is going to maintain them fantastically. But a little tip that I've picked up, it's not actually in the instructions so it's not recommended by Vax, there is a way of making the solution work a bit harder for you. So what you can do is remove the front nozzle, take that away. So basically we've turned the vax into a floor scrubber that's just going to put solution onto the floor, scrub it in and then you can leave it then to, to sort of work away and then put the nozzle back on in order to suck up the dirty water. So this is how you'd use it. So like I say, I'd only do this if the floor is really, really dirty. So I'm basically using the machine without the front squeegee. The other advantage of having the front squeegee removed is the spin scrub brushes will actually get closer to the front than they will normally. So we can just turn on.
So now I've just put on cleaning solution onto the floor. So leave it for as long as you want, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, keep everyone out of the room. And then you can go over the floor with the squeegee attached. The thing is you don't want to leave it too long because you don't want the, the wet solution just to dry because obviously you want to remove it. So we're putting the nozzle back on and then I'm going to suction up all this water. Well, the tank's empty now and I've only cleaned half the kitchen but I've obviously used up a little bit more solution than I would normally use up because I've been demonstrating the cleaner. So depending how big your room is, you may need to refill your tank more than once. But normally this kitchen can be cleaned quickly on one tank uh, and then I have to refill to do the conservatory and bathroom. So obviously the tank is now empty. but we can see here in the dirty water tank that's where all the clean water that was has ended up so despite the fact this floor didn't look dirty it obviously had some muck in it so we'll just remove the tank so to empty we'll just remove the top filter float unit and I wasn't expecting it to be black because the floor has been cleaned uh, not that long ago. But that dirt would normally have been put back on your floor. If you've been using a mop, the water would have been that colour or worse. And you'd have been continually wiping that filthy water onto the floor. With the floor mate, only clean water is going on the floor. So yes, it's not a dramatic result because it's, it wasn't filthy dirty. But I know that the floor I have cleaned is clean. There will be no residue of, of dirt on there because it's been removed by the suction. The other advantage, of course, compared to using a mop and bucket, this floor will be dry much quicker. In the winter time, if you've got heating on, or you've got a cold kitchen, a floor can take upwards of an hour to dry using a mop and bucket. This will be dry within 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. It all depends on the type of floor and of course the temperature in the room, the weather conditions. So that's that. Then once you've emptied it, you just pop the tank back. Like I say, there's a filter there that needs cleaning from time to time, just rinsing underwater, dry it out and then place it back in the machine. So there we have it, that's the Vax Floor Mate hard floor washer. And it's a good alternative if you don't like steam cleaners, because steam cleaners are good, but you do have to keep washing the, this, the pads, the microfiber pads that you get with a, a floor steam mop. You obviously need a good supply of those, otherwise you're forever washing them. But with the floor mate, obviously there's none of that. You just tip the dirty water directly into the sink. There's no, no washing of any pads. So all in all, it's a good machine. Like I say, there has been reports of reliability problems, but if you buy it brand new, it's got a two year guarantee. Make sure you register your guarantee with Vax. And if you have any problems within those two years, Vax should sort it out for you. So I can thoroughly recommend the Vax floor mate hard floor washer. Stay tuned for more videos. I will be demonstrating the very similar Maytag floor-to-floor -floor hard floor cleaner at a later date, which is more or less identical to this, but it does come with an additional grout cleaning brush. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.